Hello all, today we are going to see about K-nearest neighbors algorithm that is uh, KNN algorithm. KNN is a supervised machine learning algorithm. The intuition behind KNN uh, algorithm is that so when we are given a new data point, test point, so which needs to be classified or which needs to be predicted, it is assigned uh, to a, uh, it is predicted or classified uh, to the based upon the training data the which are uh, closer to it. So, using some distance metrics. So, we will understand it clear as and when uh, uh, we move ahead. Yeah, so um, KNN is uh, the simplest of all the machine learning algorithm. Why? Because it, uh, we don't need any explicit uh, training uh, for this algorithm. And it is uh, uh, it fits well for uh, both uh, classification and regression task. We shall see uh, both the cases in this uh, lecture. We will see uh, classification task first. So let's see. Let's say uh, we have the these green diamonds uh, data points are uh, training data, and uh, these orange circles are also training data, and the blue rectangle one is the test data point. So that is a new data point which needs to be classified to either this uh, green diamond class or this orange uh, circle class. So uh, let's choose, uh, let's choose uh, k is equal to three, meaning. Uh, when we have a new data point, so this data point will be assigned um, to the data points, K, uh, three data points which are nearer to it. So we are not bothered about the rest of the data points. That's that's what this K means. This means we are interested in only finding the top three neighbor data points that can be either this green uh, diamond or this uh, it can be um, orange circle. Uh, we will find the top three neighbors uh, around it and we will assign to the majority one. So, that is the task. Okay. So, the blue rectangle is the uh, new data point uh, is to be classified and uh, we have uh, green diamonds and orange circles around us. So let us see how we are going to uh, classify. So, the uh, first we will find the distance metric, uh, the distance between the training uh, uh, samples that is uh, the distance between the blue rectangle and the uh, green diamonds and the orange circle. We can use any of the distance metrics we uh, have. It can be either uh, Euclidean distance uh, metric or Manhattan metric. So, to uh, sum up, the algorithm for classification using KNN is, uh, um, is as follows. So, we need to fix the K. So, uh, we need to fix the K in the sense like how many neighbors, uh, nearest neighbors we are interested in. So, we need to find that first. And we are supposed to find the distance between the new data point to be classified and the, uh, the training samples we have with us. Next, we need to sort the distance because we, we are interested in only uh, the we are interested in only the data points which are uh, nearer to three data points that are nearer to the test uh, data point that is new data point uh, uh, that needs to be classified. So we need to sort the distances we have identified and uh, we, we need to collect the classes of the top three and we have to choose the majority one. So, the algorithm is as simple as that. So, we will take an example and see to um, make things even, uh, uh, even more clear. So, let us say we have a document classification task. So, that means um, a document classification, uh, uh, let us say we have uh, two, dif two different uh, classes with us, C1 and C2. The C1 can be a political category class and C C2 can be a um, academic category class. So, and uh, we have a new document D5 which is represented by X1 and X2 coordinate. These are the features. This can be anything. This can represent a term frequency or an inverse document frequency. It can be anything. It is a two dimensional feature this document D5 has got. Our task is to assign this D5 document, new uh, document that is a test uh, document to either of the um, so class. So, we, classes we have that is C1 or C2. So, we uh, have uh, four documents with us, uh, with us uh, which are the training documents and they also have uh, two dimensional features. So, this is the Euclidean distance matrix that is uh, finding the distance between the D5 and uh, the rest of the training document. So, this is how we find the uh, 7 minus uh, 3 the whole squared plus this 7 x2 minus 7. So, this x2 the whole squared and we are taking the root. So, that is how this formula works. So, I will just repeat it once again x1 minus this x1 the whole squared plus 
this uh, d one's x two minus d five's x two the whole squared and we are taking the root. So that is the equivalent distance formula. So and the distance comes to be four. So uh, likewise, we have calculated for the uh, rest of the document uh, the distance between the uh, rest of the documents and the uh, document d five, which is the um, test uh, document need that needs to be classified. And we have the distance met. Now we have to sort them, and we are interested in only uh, in finding the top three. So when we look at the top three nearer documents, and when we sort uh, when we sorted the distance. Uh, Uh, between the D five and the rest of the documents, uh, they are D three, D four, and D one. So and their classes are C one. So the majority, uh, the majority is only one class that is C one. So the document D five is assigned to the class C one uh, um, uh, straight away. So we have uh, we have just now seen the how to classify um, um, uh, data point new data point uh, using KNN. So we shall see uh, also a regression task. Is it, this uh, algorithm is also similar. So only thing is that we will uh, not take the mode. So that that is the highest majority one. We will take the mean. So we need to predict. So whereas the classification task, we all know that the classification task uh, we will uh, we will assign uh, to a discrete value. So uh, either class one or class two, it can be more than two also. But in regression, we need to find predict a continuous value. So that's the difference. So we will now see uh, an example. We will understand uh, KNN for regression using an example. So let's say we have uh, uh, seven persons uh, whose uh, height and age, uh, height, age, and weights are given. And the eighth person whose height is given and age is given, and we are supposed to find uh, predict the weight of the eighth person. So that is the task, and we are going to solve it using KNN algorithm. So in step one, we will see in steps to make things uh, clear. So we will fi find the distance between uh, P8 and rest of the training set uh, using uh, equivalent metrics as we did in uh, classification task. So. Uh, We will find the distance between the heights and the age. So, because weight is weight needs to be predicted, so we are not calculating the distance uh, between the weight because we don't know the weight. So, we are in uh, we have only height and age for all the um, uh, persons we have, including the test data point. So, first we will calculate the distance between the P eight and P one. Um, five point eight minus six the whole squared plus thirty seven minus forty the whole squared, and take a root of it. That's what we have done here. For the first person, we have calculated uh, the distance, and we have done the uh, um, the same thing for the rest of the person. So, and we have calculated the distance between the um, uh, each of the person and the new person we, for whom we need to predict the weight. Step two has uh, it's the same as uh, we saw in uh, classification task. We need to sort the distances, and here also we'll fix the k to be three. So we are interested in only the top three nearest neighbors, and they seem to be P seven, P one, and P six. So now to predict the weight, so what we will do is that uh, we uh, uh, we will take the average, so the average or the mean of the uh, these uh, top three persons, and we um, uh, this is the predicted weight for the P eight, uh, P eight. Person now uh, whose weight needs to be predicted. So we have seen now uh, in this lecture about uh, how to use KNN algorithm for a classification and a regression task. So the challenge uh, involved in KNN algorithm is fixing the value of K. So that's a uh, trial and error method. So uh, it should not uh, go too less uh, and not too high. So that has to be done using a trial and error method. So that is the one challenge we have and the um, applications. Uh, so uh, applications uh, the KNN can fit in could be in uh, video recommendations like when we are seeing a video so recommendation systems so which are nearer we nearer to the ones we are watching so, uh, so for such applications KNN can fit in and it, and we uh, as we saw in the classification task it can also fit in in the do document classification or any other image classification uh, task it can uh, fit in. So where KNN cannot fit in uh, is where, like where the data is of high dimension, where it has got so many features, and we have too much of data. At that point of time, it may uh, it may be computationally costly to use uh, KNN uh, as we uh, as we don't have a training concept here, and uh, it presumes training set is clustered already. So why? Because like we are only uh, interested in finding the K nearest neighbors. That means the uh, the document the the training set needs to be clustered already. So that, that that's when uh, uh, it makes sense to assign the uh, data points to uh, the the nearest uh, neighbors. 
so otherwise if, if they are not organized the training set is not organized then uh, we would uh, end up in uh, erratic uh, um, recommendations or predictions so that is about the kanan algorithm uh, thank you